Hello and welcome to this video. Today a mini review of the Yakin MS23B vacuum tube phono preamplifier. It's a unit that I was uh, looking for for quite some time. I wanted it to replace the phono section of my existing preamplifier and I think I can get both better sound and better tube lifetime. Let's check it out. It was shipped in its original box. I would prefer an external second box, but okay, it is packed very well inside with all that foam. With 3.3 kilos, it's a more or less heavy unit. That's good. Usually that means heavy metal inside. And that's needed for a good transformer. So after a first look, the first thing I did was to go through the burn-in process. So I left it powered on for two days non-stop. For all components to bed in, no problems with this part. Next step was to remove the original tubes. I don't work with modern production tubes. They are too cheap and they don't last as long as vintage tubes. So I simply work with new old stock tubes. Well, the unit looks very good. Its construction is also very good, no problems here. It seems they used very good components. And whatever angle you look at it, it always looks very nice. It's a very nice looking piece, indeed. My aim was to get a better sound and to use only these tubes when I am playing records with the turntable. If I am listening to CDs, I don't want to be using these tubes, so by having them externally, I avoid using them all the time. The rubber feet leave residue, so be aware. Let's go for a sound test. The signal path is the following. The signal comes out from the turntable, it goes to those two tubes down there, and then it goes to these two tubes in the front, in the output section. In this first test, I am sending directly the signal from the output of the preamp to the input of the audio recorder. And for copyright reasons, I am using my own record, my own music. This is a test record, it's blank in one side and the recording is on the other side. Well, it's a prize from a drum and bass contest that I won in 2007. After this original recording, I removed the Brimar tubes I have selected for this test and I inserted them in the Yakin preamplifier. In this preamp, I inserted two dead tubes that I had laying around. I'm not using this phono section anymore. And here they are in their final destination. These are some of the best ECC83 or 12AX7 in the American denomination ever made. I took some time to be able to do this operation of inserting that protection. And here it is, in its final place, ready to start a new test. So this time the only difference is that the signal comes from the turntable, it goes to this Yakin preamplifier and then it goes up to the preamp, only to the output stage. Everything is the same, except the phono stage. All right. So, let's do a comparison test between these two phono preamps. Are you ready? Let's go!
got to make sense. This is not a dream, and we're not dead. to make sense. This is not a dream and we're not dead. Sound has improved, especially in the mid and high frequencies. 
So this operation was a total success. I'm really happy. All right, so my conclusions about this preamp are the following. It's a heavy unit, very well constructed, looks really nice, components look very high quality, and I do recommend it. I dislike the residue that the rubber feet leave and its original tubes. They were very strong, but not matched or balanced. So they go directly to eBay. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for more videos like this, and drop a line in the comments section if you have something to say or ask. I see you in the next video. Take care.